Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Centre. Today's briefing, Operation Odessa, amphibious assault on the Bujak area. The bottom line, we should be looking for combat indicators of an amphibious assault on the Bujak area of the Odessa region. Current situation in this area. There have been strikes against Russian facilities in Transnistia, and I'll talk about Transnistia uh, later in this briefing. Been Russian strikes against the bridge of the, the Nista estuary. Again, I will uh, show images and discuss this later. The Buja area at this stage appears less heavily defended than other Ukraine coastal areas. Russia has amphibious forces in the area, including up to six Rapucha landing ship tanks, which are very capable vessels, uh, around 4,000 tonnes of displacement. And there is an increasing possibility of false flag operations by either side to broaden the conflict. See earlier briefings, uh, Ukraine endgame, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and defence and security treaties. I'll draw your attention to the big picture map. First uh, to the Crimean Peninsula, which uh, Russia controls. Then the area of south and west Ukraine. Uh, major geographical feature is the Dnieper River, that's shown there. And cities you will probably have heard of, including uh, Kherson, which is uh, under Russian control, and major cities still under Ukraine control, uh, Nikolaev, an important shipbuilding area, and Odessa, a large city, cultural and other important factors of why this is a significant city also in southern Ukraine. Also draw your attention to Moldova, largely this area in here. We'll later we'll talk about Transnistia, which is in here, which is a breakaway area of Moldova with a large Rus ethnic Russian uh, population. And finally, uh, Romania, which you will see bordered down to the south and to the west of Moldova. Also note uh, Snake Island in English, which uh, Russia took early in the conflict. You can see it's just off the coast of this southern part of Ukraine near the Romanian border. So the Odessa region itself shown here in southwest Ukraine. A significant ethnic population and all those who speak Russian. And you can see it's geographically largely divided into two, uh, as shown here by that dividing line, uh, which is the Dniester River and estuary. So the southern part of Odessa the Odessa region, not the city, the region shown here is called the Bujak or Bujak. There's different pronunciations, but the Bujak area of the Odessa region, not the city. And that's what we're going to be focusing on during today's briefing. As mentioned earlier, uh, Bujak uh, appears less heavily defended than other coastal areas and borders Moldova, which you can see here, and Romania. Romania really, in terms of Bujak, it's to the south along this border here. That's Romania to the south. And although it doesn't border Transnistria, which you can see here coloured, uh, it is close enough to offer military support to that area. So in Transnistria, it's a breakaway area of Moldova. It has Russian forces there, whether they're called peacekeepers or something else, it doesn't matter for the purpose of this briefing. There are Russian troops in Transnistria. 
So the Buja area offers a relatively secure enclave for Ukrainian attacks, from Ukrainian attacks, unless NATO is supporting, with the possible destruction, uh, which is only emphasised by the possible destruction of the main line of communications, which is the bridge over the Dniester uh, estuary, which uh, you can see here. The bridge there, the northern side, going up to Odessa city itself, and the southern side going down into the Bujak um, enclave. Looking at this diagram, you can see uh, Zotaka up here in the north. This was on that previous slide, you saw the bridge. This is at the, the top of that southern end of the bridge, of, of the, so the northern end of the Bujak region. And that bridge has been damaged, which is, as I said, the main line of communications from Ukraine proper and the main part of Odessa region. All the way down to the southern part of the region which borders Romania. You'll note that from the previous uh, slide. Also of note, we have Snake Island, which was taken early in the conflict by Russia, and I've men mentioned that. So Russian troops in the Buja area would send a message to Moldova and Romania in terms of involvement in the, the Russia-Ukraine conflict would provide oblique support for Transnistria, as well as provide a potential for a flanking move against the city of Odessa. At this time, it would also appear to offer an opportunity for Russian advances with less risk to personnel and greater chance of success, which is important, not just for military purposes, but for the broader uh, information warfare campaign. That concludes today's briefing. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings for subscribers from subscribers. So please subscribe. Until next time, Valeta Sera.